Hi, this is Jason Furman again. And in this series of part two of technique, we're talking about double stroke rolls using traditional grip. In the last one, we talked about double stroke rolls using match grip. If you watch the last one, you'll see the strokes that we made with match grip. So what you have is the old way to play it if you've gone through stick control already, is you have number one and number two on page five, of George Lawrence Stone's book. For alternating strokes, right hand lead, and number two, left hand lead. At this point, you should already be keeping a consistent beating spot in the head, making full strokes. Numbers three and number four are double strokes. And most people that take this and get faster eventually have this happen. Where basically you have an accent on the first note and a softer note on the second beat. When I was younger, the way I was taught by some of my other teachers to overcome this was to play a softer stroke first and a louder stroke second as your practice model. Now this wasn't something that was meant to be fast itself, but an exercise to get you, for you having a stronger upstroke. It also used Stone's book, Accents and Rebounds, which did help you develop your upstroke. Later, I still found this to be stiff, and not to give me a nice, smooth, even, and relaxed double stroke roll while maintaining a good sound. Now I think going through that exercise and through the Accents and Rebounds book is a very good book to go through. And you should try to develop your upstroke. It's just for the double stroke, when it's actually becoming a roll, I find this to be a bit of a waste of energy. Especially, it seems to interfere with the idea of having a nice centered torso, relaxed center, and these being my small metronomes as extensions of my internal time. So, what we have is something very similar to the molar stroke. And when we talk about molar technique later, we'll see this coming into play again. But utilizing this energy, keeping my hand down in this position, and remember, we're playing traditional grip, so it's not flat, so it'll seem to come slowly out to the side. And this hand, and how it comes down is a slight whipping motion, and my stick comes in. Once you feel this, let it feel a little bit of out of control. Let your fingers go, so you can really sense the rebound. Now that energy, which is a lot of it in that rebound, we're going to utilize to make a second stroke. So with the right hand, we'll be coming in to make a stroke, and as you make the stroke, slightly turn in, the stick will come up, and then you will snap down on the way up. So down, snap, rolling out, back to, back to that position. Okay, so you should be able to see that clearly. For the left hand, it's going to be coming from inward to outward. So I'll be doing this, and that energy, I will snap back down with these fingers. I'm trying to make these strokes as large and as wide as possible as to be a good visual explanation. We obviously won't be keeping it that high when we're playing a general role. Work with each hand. The energy and motion moving. Practice them separately until you can become relaxed with the motion and making it one continuous motion.
So if you're coming in just for a roll, and it'll be this, you'll see if you could turn the sound off and just watch the motion. And you try to keep this part stable and steady and untouched by muscular tension as possible while breathing. helps with your double stroke roll in traditional grip. I'll see you in the next video series.